Now, as I'm sure you can imagine, there are loads and loads of ways in which you can use Bloom. So in this demonstration, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take the URL for a, um, a video sales letter. So essentially um, VSL, a video that appears on somebody's sales page. Now, you can't always do this because some of the videos, some of the VSLs in YouTube are um, unlisted. So if they're unlisted, you can't use them. But in this case, you can. So sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. But um, if you're promoting affiliate products, for example, um, then what you can do is you can take the text from inside of the video and you can use that in a review on your own blog. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. So bear with me a second. I'm just gonna find the, um, the URL for this. So we need to copy the URL at the top of the URL, sorry, at the top of the um, page. So I'll copy that one. And you'll see this as I drop it in. Uh, so just paste this in. So just the video URL and then submit. Okay, so you can see that it's pulled the, um, the content from inside of the video. I have to keep reiterating this because I know there's an awful lot of plugins and software out there that use YouTube descriptions. Well, Bloom doesn't do it that way. What it does is it actually takes the spoken word from inside of that video. It uses subtitles and closed captions. So you can see here, um, 814 words just pulled straight from this VSL, so this video sales letter. It's also given me um, the featured image if I wanted to use that. It's given me the uh, post title if I wanted to use that. And it would have given me the post tags, but there were no tags attached to this video. So what we can now do is we can work through this. Now what I could do again, I could just spin the whole thing, but this is my own blog. I'm not looking for, um, you know, a load of junk content really just to pull um, some small residual earnings. What I'm looking to do here is, is just build out my blog. Um, so this being my personal blog, I want to do it properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend five minutes just editing this. So I'll do this and then I'll return and you can see how it looks. Now, of course, you might be thinking that editing a post like this, something that's extracted from a video is going to be really, really difficult. The reality is it isn't. What you will need to do is you will need to chop it all up. So it will take you probably five or so minutes to read through and you will need to put in full stops, commas, paragraphs, and that's really all you need to do. Anything else is really optional. It's down to you. You can do it or you can just leave it as is. So you can see here, I'll just read through a little bit of this. So you can see here that um, I've I've kind of separated this from the uh, the main bulk of this huge paragraph which isn't really a paragraph it's just a, a load of text so as i say you will need to read through it i'm not going to tell you that you know you could just post this i mean you know you could i've seen it done but if you're looking for quality traffic um, buyers and you know the potential to make great money online from blogging you know even if you're using adsense or affiliate marketing or anything on your blog then spend five or 10 minutes going through this. You've seen how easy it is to pull content from inside of videos. And this is nearly always 100% unique because unless it's scripted, um, you know, in, in many cases a VSL will be scripted, but unless it's scripted, then it's just like I'm talking to you now. I haven't written any of this down. This is just off the top of my head and as I'm doing it. So everything that I say in this video is 100% unique when you turn it into content, written content that you could use on your blog. So let's go through this. So, so you can see, just look for where the, um, the paragraph should be, where the full stop should be, where the sentence ends, that kind of thing. So you can see that I've put a comma in there. And the most important thing in internet marketing is finding a system that will always work. And we all know that the best and most powerful search, the most powerful, let's uh, we'll get rid of such there, system is by far affiliate marketing. So I could put a full stop in there and then start a new sentence. And that really is all you need to do. It. I'm going to quickly whip through the rest of this. I'm not going to bore you with all the details because it's probably going to take me five minutes or so to do it all. But uh, you can see that 
editing it, it's not that difficult. It's just really a case of going through, reading, defining where sentences and paragraphs start and finish. And that's basically all you have to do. Okay, so it's probably taken me a little bit longer than five minutes, I'll be honest. I think it's probably taken me about 10 minutes to um, break all this up. But you can see the result is uh, it's pretty cool. What I'm gonna do now is drop it back into WordPress and set up a post around this. Okay, so what I've done is I've saved it into pending. Now you can choose to save this or publish this straight away if you want to. Personally, I like to uh, go through things and maybe add a few images and of course my affiliate link as well. So I'm gonna open this one up now, change a few things. Okay, so you can see that the post is it's all ready to go down here. Let me um, let me change that featured image and we'll get rid of that. So featured image. I'm going to use one of my own, and let's uh, let's just search for the image that I'm going to use. Desktop. Uh, let's have a look. Well, we've got it somewhere. There we go. We use that one. And we'll put the alternative text in there. Call that shop Mozo review. Always important to do this. And there we go. So we'll add a few tags. Now what I'm going to do is just add a couple of images. So first of all, we want to add a button. We could use the um, short code up here, but it really depends on what theme, what WordPress theme you're using um, and what plugins you have. Or you could just put a link um, for this demo. I'm just going to put in um, just an image button and then uh, code it with my affiliate link. So I'm not going to cloak anything, not going to do anything fancy here because this is just a, a blog. I'm going to send people to this blog. People will see this blog and I'll make money from people clicking on that link and buying the product. So let me uh, let me look at where I can add one. So let's um, maybe I'll just uh, maybe I'll put one there. So we'll just add an image. Sorry, wrong one. Um, we use that, and uh, let's see. We'll put in. Let's insert that into the post there. And what I'm going to do is let's uh, pull this one up here. Now you see that I've put a tracking link at the end, so that I can keep track of uh, where my affiliate earners are coming from. So it's just this little bit here. So question mark TID equals blog straight after the affiliate link. So I copy that one. And paste that in there. Open in a new link, a new window. And there we have it. So rid of that and we'll put the same one in there like so okay so those are the two buttons I'm going to use I'm also going to put in a couple of images just to uh just to jazz it up a little bit what we can do here is uh, if I just go over to the website, for example, um, so copy image address and then if I can find it. We'll paste that in here. So add media, insert from URL, and paste that in like that. Center and Oh, wrong one. Always important to use tags as often as you can. I'm sure you know that anyway, but uh, alternative text is always good to use. 
and so on. So uh, let's uh, let's preview this. Uh, save as pending. And view post. And there you can see it. we have a pretty good post and it's all derived from the VSL on the sales page. You can see how easy that is. Yeah, it's taken me about 15 minutes so far to um, to do all this. Um, but this is content uh, based around a product that I know absolutely nothing about. You could do the same. So you could pull any product, any affiliate product. You can use any VA, um, sorry, any VSL, any video, and you can build a complete post out of it. And you don't have to actually understand or know anything about that particular product. You're just pulling it directly from the video in this case from a VSL so you know in its nature a VSL is designed to sell to somebody so it makes um, a great piece of content that you can put on your blog and put your affiliate links in so what I'm also going to do here is um, I'm also going to put the um, put a video in here so bear with me so if I just scroll down here, let's see. Um, okay, so here's a demo here. If I just click there, you're to follow. To follow. And then what I'm going to do is click on share. So sorry, let's just move this screen down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Click embed, and we'll take that piece there. And I'm just going to paste that embed link in there like that. Okay, so I've used a text form, so you see it's there, and then I'll just uh, I'll center that. Uh, I would if I could, so I'll add a little piece of uh, code at the beginning of that. So, and then we'll close that at the end. I'm sure you noted all this anyway, but you know, I'm just doing the whole demo anyway. And a little forward slash there and then if i go back over there should be centered so save that as pending like i say most of what i'm showing here is is common knowledge everybody knows how to do all this stuff um but you know it just serves a purpose and i'm setting it up anyway so you may as well see me do the whole lot so if i go back over and view the post so you can see that the video is in there and the images and the buttons actually I think that button may be better sorry I do tend to mess about with this stuff um, that may be better just underneath there I think it kind of works better just underneath okay so let's have a look at that okay so you can see we've got the post we've got the um, featured image we've got the post we've got the video which is a demo just uh, curated this from YouTube make no changes we've got a button directly underneath more of the post all extracted from the video that I showed you at the beginning an image some more content and another button and that's basically it so you can see I've got a complete post made out of nothing but the VSL so the content from within the VSL I've extracted that used it as a post you've seen me edit it the whole thing is probably taking me about 25 minutes if 25 minutes is too long, then you know, I, I, you know, I apologize for that. You can do it quicker, but I do like to, um, you know, mess around with things, get them looking good. And obviously, you know, when you make things look good, you make more money. But, you know, I'll leave that with you. Um, it's kind of up to the individual as to what extent they go to when they're editing. I wanted to show you the actual editing process or what I actually did uh, so you can see that it's not just one click. I mean, anybody that tells you that any any software is, is just kind of one click, there's always something to add yourself if you want to make it unique to you. Now, what I will do is, if I just um, if I just take you back, uh, something that I kind of uh, forgot to do. Um, but what I will do here is, I'm going to copy all this this content here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up CopyScape and show you what this looks like in there. Okay, so in this case there are five results, which is not really what you want to see when you do this. But um, as I'm sure you can guess, um, a VSL is scripted. So there are going to be elements of that which are written down 
and in many cases it's actually used on sales pages so you can see that um, it's kind of been used a little bit but there are very very um, little uh, results really I mean you can see the um, the highlighted or the darker is kind of what they've picked up on so there's very very little here it's not really going to be an issue so you could go ahead and you could change those bits and pieces if you wanted to uh, personally I'm just going to leave it as it is for now because I think it's um it's kind of unique enough and it, sh it kind of demonstrates how quick this process can be like I say change it if you want to but in most cases when you pull or extract content from within a video as I kind of already touched on inside this um, this video that I'm making here you know nearly everything is going to be unique because it's um, it's off the cuff like I'm speaking to you now in this case it's a VSL but I wanted to show you that you could actually extract from a VSL which makes a great post uh, that will allow you to you know promote that product so that's kind of it um, I'll show you that post again and we'll publish that and show you the post and there you go like I say you could mess about with it and show you how it's content but you can see all in all even with um, that little detail there it's taken me about half hour to do the whole thing including editing and making the whole thing look great. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.